G'day everyone, Reeves here. Welcome to the first tour vlog. Mm. What's the date? I think today's 27th of November, 2022. So first up, uh, news, important stuff out of the way. We got uh, Taz Tour coming up, starting in December. Dates will be in the uh, description. And then we got a new album. <laughs> Coming in the new year, I'm very, very excited. I've got, I've been cooking up all the film clips and stuff for it. Um, so make sure you, you stay tuned on the channel. Uh, I'll be releasing all the info for that very, very soon. Okay, so that's the big news coming up. Um, but welcome to the first tour vlog. I've been doing a uh, blog for uh, many a year and I decided to change up the format, try a video version. Um, and uh so please let me know what you think of it in the comments now uh where are we at since we spoke last oh yeah so uh last i think i did a big update i was in brisbane all right i've done the whole new south wales tour since then uh finished up brisbane with a, a film clip shoot uh, which was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun um Jeez, smoke getting in my eye here. Um, and then after I did the uh, film clip shoot for the new album, I uh, went down to Yamba. I love going to Yamba, right? I got to dance with some hot mamas there. <laughs> mm. uh, but they're always so good to me in Yamba. I love going there. It's a good little fun town. Actually, almost like it more than Byron Bay. Um, there's more old people there, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, Chip got to catch up with some good old friends too, yeah. Um, good, got to catch up with some good friends in Yamba. Good to see him. Um, and then we went down to Coffs. Oh yeah, I got to dance with Moha Mamas and Coffs. <laughs> uh, which was a lot of fun. Again, they're really nice to me in Coffs. Um, but we saw a day jury tree, right? <laughs> some teenagers hanging around it. Uh, I want you all to be careful out there, right? Uh, not all these things are so friendly. Oh, 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 God, did you eat the, the leaves or the flowers? Oh, the, the flowers. How many of them did you eat? Oh, five. Oh, mate, you fucking love. Look out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, my favourite part about that Central Coast region is actually, um, one, the camping, but two, the mountain biking. Um, got to get into the mountain biking, uh, ride down the hill on my ass a little bit there. It was... Very wet while I was there, but a lot of fun. And where we go? Um, oh yeah, Sydney. Sydney was awesome. Got to do uh, some more dancing with the hot mamas in Sydney. Hey, 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 Got to catch up with some good old friends. Uh, went to a skater party. They were doing tattoos and uh, one of my mates got a tattoo there. <laughs> so it was very cool, very punk rock. Um, very happening in Sydney. I, uh, I used to always give heat to Sydney. I never used to um, go there. Or, you know, I used to avoid it on tour. Like, oh, fuck Sydney, fuck this shit, where would you go to Sydney? Um, but no, I've, I've grown up and I've matured now and I can definitely say that I uh, really enjoy Sydney. <laughs> I'm over whatever bull I was doing when I was young. Um, so yeah, big shout out to everyone there. Thanks for being such excellent mofos. I'm going to be back very soon. Uh, and where were we at? We're just checking my notes here. Um, oh yeah. Umbara Bolo. Yeah, that was good fun. I want you guys up the front. I want you to say, we love Ruby Reeves. We love Ruby Reeves. Uh, now say, are we my pants in the parking lot? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn. Uh, <laughs> uh, dear. Um, really good place to hang out, go camping for a few days as well. I sat on the beach there. Um, took me like three or four days, but I eventually caught a fish, caught a snapper. Um, and one of the things I love doing as I travel around is um, eating the food from the local area. For me, it's like a connection to country sort of thing. And not everyone gets what I'm on about, but um, 
No, to me, it's one of the great things about traveling. So I was very blessed to be able to even catch one fish, um, even if it did take me a few days. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, oh, also down at that part of the world, I saw a plug a tree, <laughs> uh, which is actually a native species to Australia. Keep your eye out if you're ever on the road for a plug a tree, all right? There should be one near you somewhere. <laughs> all right, g'day, guys. I'm here at Coalcliffe, and they've got a plug a tree here. Oh, look, there's a bra as well. I love these. You see these around Australia, they're, they're a native plant, right? And you can tell they're signature Australian flavor by all the different kinds of pluggers. Oh, look, you know, I like that one, yeah. <laughs> all the different kinds of pluggers in the tree. Australian legend, the plugger tree. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it was uh, interesting to see the plugger tree at that time because um, on that day, it was actually a blue moon. So I guess it's the sort of thing that happens once in a blue moon. Ah! I can, it's a pretty big moon. I think it's mooning me. God, all right. <laughs> We're out, uh, look at the note, here we go. Um, oh yeah, so after I did that, I uh, went up the hill to Canberra, which is awesome. My old stomp of ground, I used to tour it to Canberra all the time. Uh, back was in a heavy metal band. Good to see you see the old mates from Canberra, eh, train? How you going, mate? Woo! Um, <laughs> It was really good to see the old mates um, and go skating in my old sort of skating area. Um, I used to go skating around there with my old dog and now I've got Chip, wherever Chip is at the moment. <laughs> and it was good to go skating with Chip around the old stomping ground a little bit. It was, it was a lot of fun actually. Um, though one thing that did happen in Canberra is they, um, they gave me a fine, like a parking ticket. Even though my thing was clearly displayed, the, the ticket you need for parking, parking ticket for your parking ticket. Yeah, uh, I still I had the ticket clearly displayed and they gave me a fine anyway. So, uh, cheers Canberra. Always remember that, that sort of stuff. Love, love that place. <laughs> um, so yeah, after all that, I'm taking a little uh, break in the Almond Valley, just taking some time off. Yeah, so for the rest of the video, the rest of the vlog, I'm going to show you some hobo cooking techniques over the open fire. Um, and give you guys a little bit of a song as well. So thanks for tuning in to the new tour vlog. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, if you want to hear more about my tours around the country, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on. Um, but until then, uh, yeah, I hope we can all grow up big and strange. <laughs>
Right, all right. So I've, I forgot to press record the first time. Uh, so I have actually already tried this. <laughs> but nevertheless, <laughs> um, so as you saw there, I uh, did the basting. I, I, I covered it in char siu sauce. I just kept flipping it, keeping it on the heat. Did most of the cooking on the um, the fatty side. Right, it's kind of like a skin fat side. Uh, and this was a pork belly uh, local to the ACT. I got it at uh, Lost River Meat Suppliers. Okay. It was on special. It was only six bucks. Um, and so I just used a bunch of sauces from the bottom of my cupboard, a bunch of Asian sauces, mixed them all together. Um, ran one being char siu sauce and soy sauce. A um, little bit of garlic powder in there. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I kept basting it and kept it on the slow cook. Spent about three or four hours cooking it. Um, but we did it low and slow. And as you can see, we got this banding. We got a little bit of smoke and sauce ring kind of coming through there. Um, crackle come off perfectly. Uh, for under 10 bucks, this is kind of, <laughs> this is kind of like, this is what I'm all about, ladies and gentlemen. This is like finding these super tasty cuts that, you know, people wouldn't really expect. So you just got to know where, you, uh, where to look. I just went to a local butcher. Um, and yeah, we got it on special. Uh, and uh, yeah, as you can see, I cooked it all on this fire hobo style. You don't even need a pot belly, all right? You can do it on just like an open fire as long as you've got these racks. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm... I guess I'm just gonna go for the bite. There you go. I've already had some of this, but uh, I, uh, yeah, I can't get enough of it. As you can see, I already ate like half the pork belly when I did the, the false shoot where I forgot to press record. Anyway, down for the bite. No. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, man just as good as i remember all right for me this recipe chasu um there was a point when i was a lot younger where i uh, actually lived in chinatown in uh, brisbane and you know growing up living near it and stuff but um chasu they used to sell it by the dollar you go oh, i want three dollars five dollars whatever and they'd like cut it up for you there shrink a little bit of soy sauce on it and give it to you rolled up in a in a bit of paper kind of like buying hot chips except it was chasu and it was always like the yummy food for me. And so, yeah, this recipe just conjures up old memories. It takes me back. And uh, yeah, it's like still, it, uh, it just, just hits me in all the right places. I would rate this eight out of 10, eight out of 10. Oh, yeah, eight out of 10. Oh, but for under 10 bucks, 10, 10 out of 10, really. Anyway. Enough rambling. Thanks for watching my barbecue. Uh, if you want to know how to, to cook like this, just watch the video. <laughs> no, um, thanks for watching. Uh, Ruben's Hobo Barbecue. Thanks for watching. Um, mm, mm. Oh, look, the end piece. Mm. Oh.